Live. This is Heart of Illinois ABC News. We do have a flash flood warning right now for Woodford County because they are still getting some rains. May not just be picking up on a radar, but that is until 615 a.m. That means so much rain in a short period of time there, but beautiful sunrise, cotton candy colors, <laughs> definitely a chilly one, but you know, I'm still thinking about that chocolate that you just read about, <laughs> but you know, the good news is, well, if you have any chocolate, it's not going to melt. So we yeah. just got to look at the bright side True. of these colder conditions <laughs> and we did cool down because we did have a cold front that actually went through just yesterday. Snow just started to come down about 45 minutes ago. And honestly, I think I can make some snow angels outside here. So now how much are we expecting about a dusting to an inch if you are west of that Illinois River, but the further west you go. So if you're getting closer to Galesburg, you're going to see more of a dusting. So the closer you are to that Illinois River, that amount goes up and closer to an inch. Did you guys bring your umbrella today? Do any of you guys? Yeah. Don't, brag. Don't so, brag. Okay, if we're going to get rain, we'd rather have it overnight so we can enjoy our day. But taking a wider look, you can see we actually had this cold front and that's why we were seeing that rain because the rain is developing in front of it. We'll look right behind that cold front. We also have another one. What does that mean for us? That means we're going to dip in temperatures. So this is for our entire viewing area. Everyone has a dense fog advisory. Now, what does that mean? That means that visibility will be less than a quarter mile. And we did cool down because of this cold front that went through the area yesterday. Even though we have this high pressure system, we're still on the cooler side of it. So we are going to see those cooler conditions today. And if you look a little bit closer, our friends in Wisconsin seeing some snow right now. And Well, now switching to weather, we're tracking what well, we're seeing temperatures near freezing point. Just yesterday we saw 50 degrees and talk about a major drop in temperature. We're going back down to near freezing point. So definitely want to bundle up after seeing a nice, somewhat warm weekend, even after those bitter cold temperatures for your holiday. So what we're tracking for today, it's actually going to be a pretty nice day. Despite being near freezing point, we're going to stay dry because we have those up and down temperatures following that because we're going to go up and down on that roller coaster. So that might get, make you feel a little bit blah this week. And also what's going to make you feel a little bit blah is that we do have two rounds, not one, but two rounds of a winter systems coming through this week. So yes, we could see some snow in store in this forecast. But looking at that satellite and radar, why are we cold? Well, notice we have this cold front that's off to our east. That cold front cooled us down, giving us cold and chilly temperatures. Now taking just a little bit of a closer look, we are seeing just a little bit of clouds in the area. The good news is those clouds will clear out as we head throughout your day today. We'll start off just a little bit cloudy, 25 degrees at 8 a.m. But as we head into the noon hour in the afternoon, we're going to see those temperatures near freezing point and see that sunshine. So yes, it's going to be cold. Good news is we are going to see a little bit of that sunshine. Wind gusts will be at 20 miles per hour, so you definitely want to make sure you do have those mittens because it is just a little bit cold. We're going to cool down as we head later into tonight, so right around the 6 p.m. hour. 27 degrees in Peoria, 26 in Bloomington Normal, but notice those clear skies. That's not going to last for long as clouds do linger back into the forecast for tomorrow. But notice that this is going to be round one of this winter system that comes through this week. So we're going to see that just as early as tomorrow, 5 p.m. All of that snow also notice those temperatures across the area just below freezing point. What does that mean for us with the snow? Snow does look like we could see just a little bit of accumulation, but notice we have that wintry mix that comes right through giving us a rain and snow mixture. So it could wash all out, but we could see a little bit of ice with that. So rain does linger throughout the area into your Wednesday afternoon, giving us a slight break by the evening hours. But what you can expect is a little bit of a breakdown with this for Tuesday evening and Tuesday night. Your impacts going to be more high because we could see a little bit of that snow, ice and sleet. In terms of accumulation, accumulation is possible for that snow and ice. And in terms of amounts, so we could see about an inch of snow with this system if it does not get washed out. And it also depends just a little bit on those temperatures. So you may want to go out and get a little bit of a salt in if you have not pulled out your winter coat, which I imagine everyone did. You're going to want to because it's a little bit cold and also those snow boots as well. Wednesday AM, a wintry mix turning into that rain, but that's only a medium impact. Medium impact for Wednesday night as that rain switches back to that snow. But it's only light snow, so we could see just a little bit of those flurries. But Thursday, we're in between those storms, so that's a low impact with Thursday night. Freezing rain, snow and sleet return in that forecast for New Year's Day. We're going to ring in that New Year's with some of that snow. 
Seven day forecast right now, well, 32 degrees for your Monday as well as tomorrow with snow chances Tuesday through Thursday. Then an extended day, well, we're going to go back to those 40s. 